Hello everyone, welcome to BI Consulting Pro. Today Microsoft has announced November 2020 updates and in this video I am going to talk about a very special update that comes from the Microsoft Power BI. So in this video, I'm going to talk about anomaly detection. What is anomaly detection? How we can use it and how it can be useful as a visualization expert for you or as a consumer of the report. So enough all the talking, let's head over to my laptop. So you can see I have this report opened over here and here I have a very small data model. This data model has just two tables. One is the calendar table and another is the sales data. As I talked to you earlier, like in today's uh, video, we are going to talk about the anomaly detection. But before going into that one, I would also like to tell you that there are certain more updates came from the Microsoft. One of those updates are the new data model view. As you can see over here, you can uh, in the properties, you can set these labels up or down and even uh, the relationship keeps uh, generally we face the difficulty to find the relationship key we have to click on our relationship and then only those are going to highlight it but now with this new model view we can just make this show key field when card is collapsed or a pin key field on the top of the card so once you will switch on those features what is going to happen then the keys that we are using in the relationship they are going to be at the top of those each card and there is a collapse and expand options as well apart from that the new uh, field list feature has been come and which is in preview and there is uh, one more feature that is the apply all filters is now which is generally available so those are the some of the updates but yes there are quite a few more updates as usual but we are not gonna go over there right now what we are gonna focus over the anomaly detection how we can use that feature for that let's go in my uh, report and over here right now there is nothing after going into the report what i want to see i want to see how my sales data appears over the time plus i want to see if there's any anomaly in the data that means is there anything that i need to be worried about or suddenly going up or down so that's how we can find it out using this anomaly detection feature so let me just create one visualization which is my line chart because line charts are the most useful visualizations visual where we can see a trend over time now let me drag it a bit more on the top and here i'll go first for my sales and let me put sales in the values field over here once i have this then i want to uh, see the trend over a time so for that i'll bring the date field and you can see over here clearly my sales is from uh, from 2003 to 2005 this is uh just a sample data so your data can be varied from till today's date or maybe in the past last 10 years or whatsoever but here we are trying to find the anomaly in the data so how we can achieve that once you do that after that what you need to do you have to go in you have to select first the visual and then we have to go in this analytics tab you can clearly see where my mouse is pointing out this is the third one in the visualization pane once you will click over there at last there is a find anomalies we have to click over here and let me just go down a bit so these are the right now it's there's no point or there's no anomaly has been added so that we can find it out so we have to click on the add button once you will click add you will suddenly see there are graph is appearing a bit differently and also over here we have these different anomaly points by default the sensitivity label would be 70% and which you can increase or decrease depends upon your requirement once you will increase it so what's going to happen even there was a there would be a slight change from the expected value it's going to show you for example i make it 100% and apply so you will see there are lots of anomaly points because we have increased the sensitivity over here however if i'll just de decrease it to let's say 30% and then apply, then you will see there's almost no point, no anomalies point over there. 
so that's how the sensitivity varies however once you will click or hover your mouse over the sensitivity you will also see there is a text appearing which is basically saying to you that if you increase the sensitivity or you are keeping it high then more and more anomalies points are gonna appear because even there is a slight change in the expected values it's gonna show you as anomalies and if you are gonna make it low then of course we are ignoring all the anomalies over there so we are not gonna do that we are just gonna keep it at 70 and let's let me make it over here 70 and then apply so that we can see our anomaly points over here that's a great way to see now what other options do we have over here first we can change the shape of the anomalies for example instead of this drop kind of uh, shape i want to make it to diamond or even i can make it to rectangle or i can make it to triangle so they are different or even circles so let me just keep it right now or the the drop point itself and now uh, there is a color as well you can change the different colors uh, so generally it's anomaly so let's keep it red and then there is uh, expected range style so expected range style means over here let me just increase it a bit so you will see there is uh, some shadows over there the gray area over there so that is actually showing you the expected range what should be the expected range it's more like the forecasting it's automatically the ai engine is automatically forecasting it that its range is expected to be like this but if you don't want to see that you can say okay i just need to see the line expected range line i don't need the fill off with the gray color or even you can say no that you don't want to see any expected range over there but let's keep the expected range style with the fill and here expected range trans uh transparency also you can set over here you can set the transparency so it should be no transparency or it should be the full transparency so if i say no that is zero percent it's same as the transparency we set for the backgrounds so you can see that uh, now the black 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 is appearing but if we keep it like 100 percent there's not at all any fill uh, color fill is there but let's say you want to keep it 60% so that makes much more sense over here now there is also one color option for you if we want to fill instead of uh, black we can even go with the blue or let's say we go with the amber kind of color so that also we have flexibility to change so we can change it so this is the one part how we can enable this feature but before going over there let's click one of the anomaly points once i click on the anomaly points you will notice that there is another pane appeared over here with the name anomalies so what it is showing us actually so once you will click over there you are gonna get this kind of graph that means it's gonna show us sales versus date which is same graph as this one and now there are the different factors there are the different possible explanations why these kind of anomalies is occurring in this line chart or they are like possible factors which are contributing these anomalies so you see that the product is classic cast which is contributing around 88 percent and if we go down we see the there is a title which is any not applicable and this is contributing the minimum that is 19 percent but not only that if you will go over here and let's say suppose you click this one you can expand these two so if you want to see how the product is classic cars is going to uh, impact the anomaly or the we want to see the explanation about this we can also check it and which is going to appear over there so where you can see sales and then there is a sales for car classics what other option you have you can add these two into your report as well if you want to understand more about it you can do the same and this is going to give you like how you can see how these values are impacting so now you can see that you have this graph and you can uh, see you have two legends over there sales and sales of for classic cars and how these are gonna impacting this uh, sales figures you want to see only those factors out of that which are impacting the anomalies over here for the sales figure let me just remove this anomalies possible explanation one and what i can do there's a uh, two factor basically but what i just told you 
earlier this anomaly is being explained by 93% day name is Friday where the day name is there and then also the address line which is contributing 92% or something in this case so if I'll go over here and there's a feature explained by so we can drag and drop the fields into this one and only those fields are going to appear in the possible explanations so that we want to see how our anomalies is appearing because of those two factors so what we can do let me just drag first the day name so if i'll go there and then i'm gonna drag one more which is my let's see 93 percent is uh the address line 2 so there's my address line 2 you have to apply once drag these points and now only two possible explanations are there and we can even check those individual uh, explanations that how they are impacting the sale and how the anomalies are appearing because of that so this is a very powerful feature in power bi which just released in a preview feature in november 2020 updates and if you are not finding this feature then please be aware that you have to enable your uh, preview feature once you will click on the file then you have to go options and settings so on the options and settings there is a preview feature pane you can see over here this is a preview feature pane and where you will find all the preview features preview features are not generally available you have to enable them into your power bi desktop once you enable them then click ok and you have to restart your power bi desktop and then all those features are gonna appear over here don't forget to tell us whether you like this new feature or not and if yes how would you like to use it so stay tuned for more videos and don't forget to subscribe our channel and hit the bell icon for the latest updates mm -hmm.